Good evening and welcome to the 2012 Fair Energy Ball. I'm Ed Ramsey, Board Chairman for the Frigix Ataxia Research Alliance, FARA. And I'm Kyle Bryant, Spokesperson and Ride Ataxia Director for FARA. Thank you for your continued generous support of FARA and the University of South Florida's Ataxia Research Center. Your support has doubled our annual research activity. Over the past year, we've seen significant progress in clinical trials, studies addressing energy deprivation in FA and increase in the frataxin protein, a root cause of FA. There were exciting preliminary results in gene therapies and a record number of patients seen at FA research centers, clinics that the Energy Ball helped fund, including USF. FA is the most common of all inherited ataxias. One in 100 people are carriers and don't know it until it affects their families. Every time I speak with FA families, I hear both the dark fear of a threatening diagnosis and the bright light of research progress. Recently, I spent time with some of our families living with FA. These families are much like my own and probably pretty similar to yours. Every family faces challenges. These families refuse to be defined by disease and physical limitations. Together, they create a unique and powerful energy that inspires us all to live, to love, and to act. Sometimes he doesn't want to go out. Sometimes he just wants to stay in and play video games and, you know, kind of be by himself. Um, and if he calls a friend over, a lot of times that's what they want to do, but um, that list of kids to call has gotten smaller and smaller. I think he's sad that, you know, he doesn't have the same circle of friends he had two years ago, that he can't just easily go over to somebody's house and play. He's a really upbeat, positive kid. Um, but to go through all the doctor stuff and, um, you know, he's really brave with the needles and he's kind of resigned to it and, you know, takes a deep breath and, you know, he knows it's necessary and goes through with it. So, Keith, when were you diagnosed? I think when I was in, like, fourth or fifth grade. I think when my brother was diagnosed, my parents started seeing like the same symptoms that he had when he was my age. So they said, well, let's get him tested. What would you tell someone that was just diagnosed with FA? It depends, because you can be diagnosed like me when you're not really that affected by it, or you can be diagnosed like when, like the day after you need to go order a wheelchair. I think the biggest fear was the fact that no one knew that much about it. You pray, you know, give it to me and give him what I have. Give him my abilities. And Leo will often say, well, yeah, Mom, I don't want you to pray for a miracle for me because what about everybody else? He said, pray for a cure. I remember having to walk into my husband's office and uh, I said that the test results came back and he does have FA. But to see it in his face I think bothered me more than anything. That something inevitable has happened and there's nothing he could do about it as a dad. Well, I was diagnosed when I was nine years old and uh... The, uh, I, I progressed pretty quickly, um, I have to say so, I mean, it's hard. Can you go further back? Good. We researched and found out more about it and pretty much had ourselves convinced that there was no way that he had this disease. Where did it come from? It's so rare. You know, what would the chances be? But then we did get the positive diagnosis and then your life changes. Everyday activities, it's hard, but um, I have hope for a cure or a treatment, so 
I hope that I will come soon. Farah's come so far in such a quick amount of time, and we know that that treatment is there. It's just, you know, we just need to get the money to push it over the edge and get it. And our hope is that we'll be there in time for John. I just want to say thank you very much for um, the support and time with Farah and um, your great people. I love them. Um, I feel like by the time it's really going to start affecting me is going to be around the time that they really start having the cure closer. So maybe for like a year or two, I'll be at like having a hard time with it. But around then they're going to all, they're probably going to already have the cure. So it's, it's all about these kids having their future given back to them. Perhaps the greatest lesson I've learned is not to waste a single moment, a single opportunity, a single ability. There is still work to do, but with your help, effective therapies are just a breakthrough away for the families you met this evening and many others. Thank you for your generous support and welcome to the 2012 Ferrar Energy Ball.